Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I am currently inside of a live right at the money hourly binary trade here on dollar yen. And uh, what I want to do, let me set, put the TP order in. I'm going to TP there at 77. So what I want to do, I want to take you through the full process of this trade, show you how you can use BTG charts and applying the four-step trading process to find and make really high probability trades, Forex trades every single day. So let's take you through that process now. And so first things first, okay, is assuming you've gotten through the course material and now we're going to apply this and everything you're learning, we're now going to apply this in a live market. So for step number one, we start on the bird's eye view, which is either a four hour, one hour or 30 minute chart. And very simply, we're just looking for content. Content is using some free indicators to just determine relative to past price. Are we overbought or oversold? That's all we want to know. And uh, we, and we want to know this information because all the market does is cycle. That's all it does. So I like being, and so there's so many different ways to trade. I personally like being a contrarian. Since all the market does is cycle, I like buying in weakness and selling in strength. So when we start here on the bird's eye view, okay, we go to the four hour chart, we can see very obvious, right? What are we? It's very clear cut. We're oversold, we're oversold. Relative to past price, we're oversold. There's no denying that, right? And so very simple. I know I want to be looking for bull pops. That's pretty clear. Okay. Next step is we can't just buy and sell every single overbought and oversold market we see. Just I wish it was that simple and it's not because things that are overbought can continue to stay overbought and something that's overbought, over, oversold can continue to stay oversold. So here's the key. Here's where BTG charts, BTG, everything. This is where we come into play is we help you understand what's called context. Okay, context okay, is, is anything on the chart that we feel like is giving us a subjective edge. Why are we buying here? What is it on the chart that we feel like we're going to, in this case, we're buying. So what, fe what is it on the chart that's telling us we should buy here, right? Context is anything like deviations, value areas, trend lines, Fibonacci's, demand, supply, structure, anything on the chart that we feel like is giving us a subjective edge. Right, because literally speaking, anytime you buy or sell the market, you got a 50-50 shot, right? But by building context, we can build a greater than, at least subjectively for you trolls, we can at least uh, build a greater than 50-50 ch chance and uh, give us that edge. We need to find edges. That's a whole. That's our whole goal is finding edges in the market. So when we go here. And we look at this. First thing that I notice is we got really nice demand right here to the left. We're at a really nice oversold. So we'll notice that we do have structure to the left. We're not like hitting new monthly or yearly lows. We got structure. Bulls have proven that they see value here. And that was roughly over a week ago, right? So bulls proven that they see value. And so that's good. That's context, right? I always want to make sure that there's structure to the left, at least like two, three, four weeks out. Anything beyond four weeks, and that gets a little bit tougher, okay? Uh, and then the big context on this trade, the biggest context is the negative 0.5 deviation. So we're right there, negative 0.5. And that's why when you have BTG charts, you, you're able to see this context. So I knew, stay patient, stay patient, stay patient, stay patient, boom, negative 0.5, there's my entry. So uh, I like that we're, uh, so I'm combining con oversold content with oversold context, and uh, that can give me a great, I feel like based off of everything I'm seeing, I feel like there's a greater greater chance that this will pop higher than continue to go lower. So when you are recording yourself trading, explain this process. What are you seeing? Why are you buying here? What is it? If you got trend lines, Fibonacci's, deviations, what are you seeing? Like show anything and everything. Don't get too carried away, right? Don't do this. Okay, don't do something like this, right? Uh, so don't get too carried away. Uh, I mean, make sure your charts are clean. Like if, you're, if your chart ends up looking like this, some unusual is going on here, right? Like holy crap mode, no. It's just use some very simple indicators, some simple trend lines, some deviations. If you're trading futures, value areas, things like that. Don't get too carried away, but explain the process of why are you buying here? Explain everything that you see, okay? Now, 
Next step, one of them, uh, and so I would say step two is probably the most important, but step three is what will take you to the whole nother level. We now move to the worm's eye view to time change control entry, CC. Okay, now, I, where I have entered, I wouldn't say we're at perfect textbook CC. I've entered just a little early, and the reason I entered, because I really like this, but we are starting to form a little bit of sideways change control, okay? So if we go to this chart, you'll notice here uh, that we have now got into the negative 0.5 deviation. We popped 10 points off and then retraced, there's my entry. So I at least waited for one retrace, okay? So now we're likely gonna start seeing a little bit of sideways and then we'll probably pop again and then I'll, I'm gonna take profit no matter what right back to into that 10 points, 109.40. But uh, you'll notice that I, I wait for price to show strength, retrace, boom, there's my entry. And since I've entered, it's gone a little lower on me. It's okay, it's totally fine. Uh, the max loss is built into the contract, so you don't need to freak out. Uh, but I'm gonna be looking, notice how I waited for at least one sign of a little bit of sideways. You'll notice how this is very clear defined and it is starting to kind of sideways, sideways, what I like to call change control, CC, right? So I'm looking to, notice how I bought, notice how I used this one minute chart, bought as low as I possibly could, okay? The bulls are seeing value, obviously, right there. I let it retrace, there's my entry, and I'm gonna take profits right back there at 109.40. So whatever happens first, 109.40 or 77, whatever happens first, okay? So a lot of times I will use percentage of profit or I will use a structure. Notice that the we had a little bit of sell-off right there. So obviously there's just a little bit of resistance right there. So I wanna get it back, get back there and then TP, okay? So, and then of course, step four, the fun step. Take profits, we just went through that. Take profits, bank the green, find structure, get a percentage of profit. Notice that I'm 50% uh, of max profit here. So the max profit's 50. And then 50% of 50 is what, 25? So if I TP at 77, I that's 50% of max profit. So uh, we got lots of time. I have an hour, think about this. I got an hour and a half to let this kind of play out a little bit. Okay, so we'll let this play out. I got an hour and a half to pop up into 109.40 and then I'll TP. So we'll pause this, we'll come back and we'll recap and we'll watch this trade play out. Quick update here, uh, we're getting the push up, right? So we're getting that cycle up. I need to be looking to take profits here since we're starting to get a little overbought. Uh, 77's getting really close to getting filled so I'll likely just keep that. Uh, but I wanted to kind of show, so remember there was my entry so no guesswork, negative 0.5. Bird's eye view is really good here. I know that there's pretty strong demand here from the bird's eye view. Notice how I waited for just a slight change control, okay? And uh, notice how I entered as low as I possibly could, as low as I possibly could, and then we get the cycle up, right? And so I used step one, step two, step three, and then we're about to watch step four together. It's pretty cool. So when you have BTG charts, you're gonna be able to really find really high probability trades and uh, and more importantly these videos are are meant to show you how to record yourself so we can help you so we'll watch this together this should get taken out any minute now so you just saw that get filled there at 77 pretty good stuff right and uh, as you can see it did go all the way back up into that 40 and then we're also like like I knew we'd likely see a little resistance that's why you take profits right I'm not gonna sit here for another 50 minutes um, pretty simple like I don't know too many people that can't follow just simple four steps that's all you got to do and you're gonna have some losses when you follow this but the goal here is to dramatically dramatically keep you in just the best trades so that you can have a really high win rate so when you are recording yourself uh, you got to make sure that you're showing these steps and more importantly i think this step right here this is where we come into play is we help you understand uh, context right 
And then, of course, when you're in your Michael Perigo's course, you can start developing those trend lines and Fibonacci stacking, right? And so message me if you have any questions. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, you got to get in here. You got to start learning. It's not going to happen right away. Most people say it takes, I'm just telling you the truth, it takes six, nine months to uh, of heavy kind of doing this every day to kind of figure out, okay, once once you hit about the nine-month mark, you kind of start having it all starts kind of coming together. So you got to come in here, buckle in. But once you got this skill, it's one of the greatest skills you'll ever have.